Okay, so today is, uh, let me see how hard I look. I look like I got a good babushka on. Um, today is Thursday and I had my surgery Monday. It hurts still, um, not obviously as bad. Um, my eye here, I got no makeup on, that's why I wear a babushka. It's still fucking swollen. It's red on one side, messed up on the other. Um, uh, let me try to explain. Um, basically, what's happening is that um, uh, how do I explain this? It's, it's going to take about uh, th two to three months to heal uh, this eyeball uh, from the glaucoma surgery. It takes six weeks for the sutures to um, dissolve. And that's when the hose actually opens up. And that's when the drainage actually starts working. So even though I have the implant in my eye, there's no drainage going on. Um, <clears throat> not yet, at least. Here, let me sit. Sweat my ass off out here. Um, so in six weeks, technically, the actual uh, sutures uh, come out naturally. And then the tube opens up and then my eye will naturally drain and I'll, I'm still taking my uh, my medication for the actual pressure and antibiotic eye drops and all that stuff and my steroids still I'll be on steroids for the rest of my life no matter what so um and this is kind of a like I haven't had I had glaucoma surgery on my right eye uh, back in 99 but they just drilled a hole it wasn't anything bad it was a blab they call it a blab this one is an actual implant, so kind of new um, since then. And so that's why I'm documenting all this stuff. Um, it fucking hurts, and they don't give you shit for pain meds. They don't even give you pain meds. They say take Tylenol. Um, I'm not one to take pain meds anyway. Um, but still, I mean, I'm pretty much one of his youngest patients. I mean, there are babies he's done and stuff like that. But the day of surgery, um, he did 10 people in that one day. And I was the youngest one in the room. And I'm looking at all these old farts and shit. And I'm like, these poor old ladies going home with saying, take Tylenol? <laughs> I felt bad. Um, the other complaint I have is um, I did go under full anesthesia. Um, and the tube that they put down actually screwed up the roof of my mouth. My mouth, the roof of my, my palate, actually feels like somebody took a fucking sledgehammer and just like, <sighs> a roof of my mouth. <clears throat> so, that hurts. It hurts to swallow. It's been like that since. It's getting a little bit better, but it fucking hurts. I mean, that's probably my biggest complaint because I didn't expect that. Um, so, this is Thursday, 2012, and... The 16th on Monday is when I had the surgery. So I'm functioning, I'm cooking, I'm cleaning. I just can't lift heavy shit. I'm not supposed to bend down, but obviously you can't help that. You naturally do and then go, oh shit, my eye hurts. Oh, well, you're bending down. So so hopefully this will work out. I uh, probably won't make another video until my actual um, checkup on the 30th. So that's two weeks after surgery. I'm going back. And he's going to take a look and see what's going on. Unless there's any complications, then I'll make another video. So, um, keeping my fingers crossed, hoping this works. So in six weeks' time, sutures open up. Don't have to worry about medication, per se. And then I get my transplant for my cornea. And then hopefully I can drive again and get my ass back to work. So, so that is my eye chronicles, I guess. Um... So it's not a big deal. I mean, a lot of people feel bad, and I appreciate everybody's empathy and everybody saying, oh, I feel so bad. It's okay. I've been dealing with this since 1994. I don't think many of you know. Um, i got to hurry up because I bring my food here. Real quick, in 1994, I was pregnant with my son. I was four months pregnant. I was 24 years old. And my fourth month of pregnancy, I just woke up one day and couldn't see out of my right eye. It was all fogged up. I had no clue. I thought I had soap in my eye or something got my my sleep. We rushed to the doctor and they told me your cornea failed and you need a transplant. So ever since 1994, I've had four transplants. Uh, this is now my second glaucoma and now I'm going for my fifth transplant. 
So um, I'm meant to be blind, and basically I'm fighting it with the doctors, and you know, we're doing the best we can. But uh, if I didn't get pregnant in, two, in ni 1994, um, it would, I would never have known I had this disorder. It's from my father's side. And what basically happens is that I didn't know because, like, uh, my family's from New York City and we don't talk. But everybody on my father's side is blind. And I never knew I had this condition. And I would have never known until I got pregnant with my son. So um, definitely check into your family background history of medical issues because, you know, a lot of people walk around and don't even know like I did. I learned the hard way. And now I'm paying for it. I'm 41 years old, and I maybe have hopefully 10 years left before I go totally blind. So keep my fingers crossed. So, but I'll let you guys go, and I just want to give you an update that everything's fine. I'm okay. I'm functioning. I'm cooking. And here's my tundra. Where are you? He hid behind the house. That's my bouncy house I own. And uh, I'm trying to cook some buck buck. I got my chicken, my corn on the grill here. And uh, got some papas, baked papas already got done. And uh, just gonna have a relaxing evening. So, and my solo cup. <laughs> I'm like, you guys. All right, peace out.